All right, Shalom Wam. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And the sincere Shalom Wam to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go in this blessing on basically how they're going to use the RFID chip is a scare tactic. Okay, um, the definition of scare of scare tactic is a strategy intended to manipulate public opinion about a particular issue by arousing fear or alarm. Okay, and the strategy, um, part of the strategy that the, that these people are going to do the the, the banking families is uh, especially America is orchestrating a false flag attack or some um, some type of thing to get people to think that they have to accept this RFID chip or else they won't be able to um, eat or do, uh, you know, your everyday uh, things, your normal everyday things, okay? Um... Um, this is from a website, you know, just a little website and just hit some key points off of it. Um, it says the puppet masters create disorder so the people will demand order. And um, the the uh, it says staged events also known as order out of chaos from the Latin auto app chaos. Okay, and and that's what this society uh, does. You know, they they have these um, uh, staged events. You hear about it all all over the news. You know, they 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 got these uh, riot uh, provokers, pro, uh, um, agent provocateurs. You know, people who who they hire and and one of the um, the, the, the people, um, George Soros, okay, he's paying for, to, he's funding the, um, the Black Lives Matter movement, okay, but the puppeteers create disorder so that the people will demand order, and, you know, that, that comes into, you know, these police, uh, killing, um, people, no matter whether, uh, you know, uh, the police is black or white, you know, the fact is that they're killing people when that uh, puts a certain spirit on our people to come together to riot or, you know, protest, okay? And those situations, um, which you had here in Baltimore, the Baltimore riots and stuff like that, those situations um, allow the government to uh, establish more order and to create more uh order out of that chaos it says the price of order always entails a handing over of control and loss of freedom on the part of the citizenry out of chaos comes order their order their new world order and the chip the rfid chip is one of those scare tactics that they're going to try to set up to try to create uh order okay um, you have a lot of people that sit up there and say, oh, uh, you know, where, um, I forgot the word, um, um, it's escaping me, you know, the, the, the people who, um, look into, uh, things, uh, you know, the, 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 the um, you know, that, that, like the Illuminati and stuff like that, Okay. And, and and you have people that sit up there and say that, you know, we're crazy for believing in the Illuminati when, you know, the the it's no hidden fact that everything in this society revolves around a bank. Okay. If you want to um get paid, you have to go through uh the bank, okay? You you have to make sure that your job has uh money in the bank. Um, everything in this society, it one way or another, it, it all goes back 
to the bank. Heck, America is a corporation, and they owe a huge debt to who? You got to ask yourself that. Okay, why do America owes a debt? Okay, and who are they getting that money from to uh, have this, this debt? Okay, but um, with that said, I'm going to get into some scriptures. Um, Revelation 13, and I'm going to start at 16. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And this is going to be the so-called answer to... Uh, these problems that's that's out here you won't be able to or it says and and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name okay so pretty soon uh you're not going to be able to buy or sell things okay because the dollar bill they're trying to do away with the dollar bill okay and who knows what what tactic they might use to do away with the dollar bill but they're phasing the dollar bill out and to be honest the rfid chip is already here okay it's just not mandatory or done putting it in people enforcing it on people okay but the 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 scare tactic is going to be there when they when they stage an event okay and they they scare people into thinking the the public opinion into thinking that Hey, if I don't get this chip, I'm not going to be able to eat. And it's going to be a lot of dying and stuff like that. You know, people going to have to feed their children, you know. But the elect are not going to have to worry about that. But you're going to have a lot of people that's going to do that, okay. Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help, which the word Egypt means bondage. You know, a lot of our people uh, are on the, um, you know, the Section 8. The food stamp program, and that's that's the way how they eat. And imagine them sitting up there saying, "Okay, we're going to cut back on um, the food stamps." A lot of people will ride. You know, heck, out here in Baltimore, the food stamp program was down for a day, and a lot of that that caused a lot of commotion. It says war to them, to them that that go down to Egypt for help. So when this when this society start crashing. You're going to have a lot of people going down to Egypt for help to get this RFID chip. Okay, it says, and stay on horses and trust in chariots. You know, you're going to be trusting in the um, the government, the, the, the uh, you know, the, the fact that you got people out, like a lot of women going to be getting raped and stuff out here, man. Okay, and, and they're going to go to the government, you know, they're going to see the FEMA camps and all this stuff. Uh, things right like that uh, to, to try to get protection from the government okay it's because because they are many and then horsemen because they are strong very strong but they look not unto the holy one of Israel neither seek the Lord okay and, and those people who go down to get uh, help from this society when this place starts crashing you know they're not the ones who's going to be looking to God okay because the so-called white man is their God. It says, yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of the evildoers and against the help of them that work iniquity. Now the Egyptians are men and not God. But you have a lot of people that think that God is what this society. Okay, and the modern day Egyptians are the so-called white man, which is Esau. Okay, which... The, the word Egypt just goes back to the word bondage. Um, and their horses flesh and not spirit. When the Lord shall stretch out his hand, both he that helps so fall and he that is hoping so fall down and they shall all fall together. Okay, so the, the people who go down to uh, get help from this society, they're going to fall and, and, and you're going to fall right along with them. Okay. Because you don't trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Okay? Uh, Matthew 6 and 25. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life what you shall eat or what you shall drink. Okay? And, and as the scripture said, no man might buy or sell. 
But the scriptures also say we supposed to look unto the Holy One of Israel. You know, we supposed to seek Yahweh by Shemiah Wasah, which is the Heavenly Father in the name of the Son. Okay, what, what you shall eat or what you shall drink. So when that time comes, we we not supposed to take thought for the things that we shall eat or what, what we we gonna drink. Nor yet for the body what you shall put on. Because don't you buy clothes and stuff like that? You know? Is not the life more than, than meat and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet the he your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much better than they? So when you look at, you know, everyday um, life, you know, you see these birds out here in the, in the sky. You had a, the, the saying, the early bird gets the worm, you know. Well, that may come true in that day, you know. Um, you see, a bird can can see something on the ground from, from way up in the sky, okay? And if the Lord put the spirit on the bird to see that, when somebody drops something down the street, there's no birds around the, the way. But as soon as the bird uh, see it, he spots it, you know, the bird flies down to eat it, you know? And and that's, the, the birds don't wake up in the morning, uh, you know, knowing that they're going to eat but you you still see birds flying around it says which of you um by taking thought can add one cubit onto a stature and why take ye thought for for raiment which is the clothes consider the lilies of the field how they grow they toil not neither do they spin yeah i say unto you that even solomon in all, all his glory was not arrayed like one of these Wherefore, if God so cloth the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, okay, which is the, um, the oven is the thermonuclear missiles, okay, so he not much more cloth you, O ye of little faith, and, you know, the, the, the Lord at that time is going to, going to cloth his men, you know, and that's a promise from, from the Lord. The, the the men of the Lord are gonna gonna um gonna be be good, you know. Um at the time, you know, um according to what good may be during that time, it says, Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or whether well wherewith shall we be cloth? For all after all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly father knows that you have needed all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Okay. Um, so, you know, during that time, we're not supposed to get scared at the scare tactics, man, because we seeking the kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Okay. And I'm going to end it with this uh, last scripture. Uh, Isaiah 65 and 12. Therefore, will I number you to the sword. And you shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, you did not answer. When I speak, you did not hear. And we letting y'all people know that this RFID chip, the, the, the you know, America being destroyed, all of these things, man. Christmas being a fake holiday, but you people don't want to want to hear. And we're not speaking our own words, you know. See, the Lord speaks through his men. It says, but did evil before mine eyes and did choose that wherein I delighted not. The Lord don't delight in, in uh, uh, Christmas, you know, or, or, or New Year's or, or Easter and stuff like that, man. You know, y'all people are doing evil. And when that time comes, you know, because you love life, y'all going to be the same ones that go down to Egypt for help. Okay. Because y'all into a uh, life for the wrong things. Whether you in this, you know, the truth or, or not, you know, it says, therefore, this is the last verse. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, behold, my servants shall eat, but you shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but you shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but you shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but you shall cry for sorrow. And so, so how? for vexation of spirit and there's going to be a lot of stuff you know you go down to them FEMA camps they're going to be treating you like you're in the jail and stuff like that you know all because you you're carnal 
you know, you, 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 you believe in this society, you know, you, you people got something coming for you. But the, the, the servants, the one that, that truly believe in the Lord, you know, the Lord ain't going to forsake his people, man, you know, and that's a part of this faith, man, you know, but with that, man, um, I want to say, uh, Salawam, um, until next time.